So what does short hair in men's underwear have to do with economics? Well, it turns out that these things can be economic indicators. They can tell us how well our economy is doing. So let's look first at the length of hair. So what is the trend when it comes to your length of hair? Is it long hair or is it short? Well, this can tell us about how well the economy is doing. It turns out the length of women's hair is an indicator of consumer confidence. When there's uncertainty, so for example, you have been laid off, uh, you're trying to save money, then you don't want to spend as much on shampoo and conditioner and curlers. So to save money, you cut your hair short. If you're working multiple jobs, right, because you aren't making enough at one job, then you don't have time to deal with your hair. You might chop it all off. So the length of the hair tells us really about consumer confidence. It turns out that the more confident we are, the longer the hairstyle tends to be. The more uncertainty, the shorter the trends. So what's happening right now? What is the current trend when it comes to the length of hair? Is consumer confidence on the rise or is it falling? Well, why do we care about consumer confidence? We care about how confident consumers are because it impacts their spending. If you're not sure where your next paycheck is gonna be, then you don't tend to buy things. If you are optimistic about getting a raise, you think that um, you're gonna be making more money, then you go out and you tend to spend even before you have all that extra money. So we really care about consumer confidence because it tells us how well the economy is gonna be doing, whether goods and services are going to be sold. In a survey that was done by the Financial Post in July of 2020, they found that 13% of Canadians surveyed said they were better off today than a year ago. Well, that doesn't look very good. Uh, that doesn't seem very confident. So let's look at, whoop, gotta change the slide without writing all over it. Let's look at consumer confidence. So a great source of information about all kinds of different countries is uh, trading economics. And this is the consumer confidence for Canada. And you can see a big drop right here in 2020. So what happened in 2020 that consumer confidence has gone down so much? Well, COVID-19, which closed a lot of businesses, right, drove down consumer confidence. People were laid off or they were getting less hours, they weren't able to open their businesses for a period of time. So that makes consumer confidence go down. We get concerned that we are not gonna get that next paycheck, and that means we buy less goods, which means businesses then sell less goods, and then they can't afford to hire as many people to make and sell them. So consumer confidence is important when it comes to how well the economy is doing, and that's why you see politicians uh, on the news, on TV, talking about how there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Things are going to get better and it's going to get better, right? Economy is improving, more jobs, uh, we're bouncing back. Why do they do this? Well, this PR campaign is to help boost the consumer confidence because even if things aren't better, if we can get people to believe that things will be better, then they will start spending, which means more jobs, more businesses, and then they will spend and so on. Okay. All right. So we started this by asking about short hair and men's underwear. So let's take a look at what men's underwear has to do with economics. Well, it turns out that the sale of men's underwear tends to be very flat. Okay. Basically, men replace their old underwear when it can't be worn anymore. Underwear for men isn't like, say, women in dresses where you see a pretty one, you don't really need it, you buy it anyway. So it's not a splurge, it's a necessity. You replace the old with the new. You don't buy extra, you buy just what you need. Well, so then we can see what's happening with the economy based on the sale of men's underwear. And in fact, Alan Greenspan, who used to be the head of the U.S. Federal Reserve, 
uh, was famous for saying that we should track the sale of men's underwear as a barometer of the economy. Well, in 2008 was the Great Recession, and we'll talk more about the Great Recession later this semester, but it's the closest we've been to a depression since the Great Depression. Okay, so the economy contracted, okay, negative economic growth. So it started in 2008, but by 2009, what we see is a drop in the sale of men's underwear. So that's how we know things are bad. Well, how do we know when the economy has recovered? Well, when men are back to buying the amount of underwear they were buying before. Because you know if things are really bad, if you're starting to wear your underwear inside out or using the old stuff rather than replacing it. So by 2012, the sale of men's underwear had gone back up to the level that it was at before. There are other indicators of how the economy is doing. So for some wacky indicators, uh, check out Blackboard. Uh, we do have... Um, some articles on things like lipstick and ties okay so if you're going out for looking for a job then you're more likely to buy a tie so we can see a spike in the sale of ties as the economy starts to rebound uh, even the sale of um, movie theater tickets and um, uh, romance novels because if you can't travel and go on vacation, you can't do more fun and exciting things, then you have a staycation, you're more likely to stay at home, go to the movies, look for escapism that is more local and cheaper. So we can use the sale of these items as a barometer of how well the economy is doing. And this semester, what we're looking at is how well is the Canadian economy, the American economy, the Albertan economy, how well is it doing? What are some ways to measure that? And then what do we do about it?